Hi, my name is Alton. Today I'm going to explain what the 6.3 hex shank is and what you have to know before you purchase any E6.3 screwdriver bit or drill bit. E6.3 or quarter inch hex shank means that the smallest diameter of the hex shank should be 6.3 millimeter, which is approximately a quarter inch. Okay. Um, here you can see a Riha screwdriver bit PH3 um, Yeah And I want to show you that Approximately, you can see that this is a little bit. Oh, sorry, it is a little bit more than six millimeter, which is six point three, approximately. It should be. But if you check the diameter like this, from a corner to corner you will see it is approximately 7 millimeter so it keeps moving yeah a little bit more than 7 millimeter I have checked it before I think it becomes around 7.1 millimeter and a lot of different brands they make different type of um, screwdriver bits and uh, the hex shank even is different in different brands. Uh, Viha mostly does the 25 millimeter length of hex shank, as you see, is almost half of this length. And um, some, this is a Vera one. Uh, Potion hot, I think that should be th at the end. Uh, it is not easy to make it clear. I don't know why. The camera is not a good camera, probably. Yeah. Oh, ah, here you go. Here, as you see, that the the length is a little bit more than 20. 5 millimeter more than half let's say because they are all 50 millimeter length the total length and here is an American made PZ1 POSI1 and in this one is a little bit smaller let me put it like this so you can compare from the shortest section to the longest here is a cobalt um, drill and tap which is SCO high speed cobalt probably you can see high speed is still um, this has a difference with the others and as you can see the from the middle of the groove I have to mention these ones first in these ones from the middle of the groove from here to the end I think approximately it should be 9 millimeter then you call it E6.3 hex shank but in this one which is a Japanese hex shank from the middle of the groove to here is approximately 14 or 13 millimeter if I'm not wrong is a little bit longer but the diameter is the same so it is again a little bit more than 6 millimeter they are not very accurate but I would say they are okay and here there is another screwdriver bit from Athlet 
which is a German brand. I don't know why it doesn't become clear. Yeah, I think I have to give it a little bit far. Athlet disease um, square zero zero, the smallest of uh, Robertson. Uh, the tip is square shape, yeah. And but the groove, as you see here, is a little bit small, like little dots. This one is called C6.3 Hexang. So basically uh, the diameter of this is again the same a little bit more than 6 mm but there is a problem with this which I which I'm going to explain a little bit later here is another HSS cobalt from KS tools countersink or different names they can use like the Bureau I don't know uh, I would call it countersink and uh, this has hex shank also E6.3 but from here which is the start of the hex shank to the end is not 25 millimeter which has a problem I will explain a little bit later the reason that I specially brought this one here to the video uh, is actually this and uh, here I have a drill bit I think they call it Forsten or something like this in English from Snappy again hex shank these are the old stock ones they have uh, silver shank the new ones are black uh, coating they have um, and here I have a holder for them or a chalk let's say it is from Snappy Snappy is an American brand they produce these products with the Snappy name in US before in the UK also you could find them but for the UK they have an agreement it seems with the uh, British brand Trent and they produce with that name but they call it still Trent Snappy also you see the pattern number or something like this here long number and here is another American made it is uh, lock and lock load lock and load this is uh, from Irvin old stock Irvin yeah it is very quality also these two are the best I have ever seen um, but this one is a little bit better and this one has um, STS uh, chalk or um, shank let's say yeah and uh, but still you can use it in the normal drill chalk you can shaft it in and then squeeze the drill and it will work for you but what you have to know you have to keep a little bit of gap when you put it in the chalk you should not squeeze it till the end because you have to push it back when you want to shaft any screwdriver bit in so you have to keep a little bit gap approximately this much so it can go till the end I have the normal one also I couldn't find it today but that's why I brought this one um, so what I wanted to tell is that the difference between this and that is first of all here is a little bit uh, thicker the diameter of the shank is more than this and uh, and I don't understand what is the reason to have the hex shank here the E6.3 hex shank if I have already the ability to shaft this one into any drill I would already shaft this directly to that so the reason that I uh, need this or this is that 
my drill does not accept this that's why I go for this or the normal one not with STS so that doesn't bother me but this makes it a little bit thinner which is a little bit not strong like this I have used a Dewalt one before and they are not very quality after a while they start to little bit bent and they are not um, straight so that doesn't let you to uh, to use this screwdriver but, uh, easily and uh, it destroys them actually very quickly and uh, but these two uh, first I wanted to mention this this has a little bit thicker chalk here also which I believe holds the bit much better than this that's another reason you can compare the thickness is different and then but the the best thing that I like about this these two is that when you shaft any bit in it approximately goes 25 millimeter which is almost the the total length of this hex shank part in approximately a little bit less but more even in this one is the same yeah I have to check the camera sometimes that to see that it really does it like that um, yeah here you can see I better keep it a little bit back yeah and uh, uh, but if you try to shaft this one you see that this one you don't see any uh, uh, yeah like this I better explain like that when you take it out you see that a little bit of uh, the round part of the shank is going to be in also the difference between this and this for me is that I believe this one has a better grip on the hex shank a longer part of this is going to be uh, hold held by this but not in this one that's why I always prefer the bits that they have 25 millimeter hex shine that is one reason another reason that I wanted to tell you as you see these two are very similar um, let me bring it here but in this one the this part is a little bit thicker than here is approximately seven millimeter yeah and the problem is when you try to shaft in it doesn't go in because this is a little bit thicker so it oh, actually it does a little bit here I was trying before it was not going in yeah you see you see here doesn't get in properly yeah it comes off now it goes hmm. strange yeah it comes off it is not very secure even in the now nah, you see in this one doesn't doesn't click yeah this one also the same it doesn't click it has to have the groove here um, okay today this was the video about the hex shank E6.3 hex shank I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any comment you can write I will try to answer
Thank you very much.